All right, welcome to Cognitive Drawing, day 59. Okay, we're gonna do a study of the back here. And I love these little shapes, and I think it's cool how you almost see like some X's right here. I definitely don't have any of that memorized the way it's drawn there. So, um, and backs are obvious, uh, I mean, backs are actually kind of something that's kind of a, still a mystery to me. I've just always cheated it. And so um, I'd like to actually go in and, and uh, do some cognitive drawing on this stuff. So um, without looking at it too long, here we go. I'm just kind of going with what I probably would draw if if I was just drawing a back, obviously. Okay. Let's see how I did. The shoulder blades are a little bit more generic in my version. This is a lot more defined up here. So let's try to figure out how that's working. So we have this shoulder muscle here that goes right up into his head, similar to how I did it. down. The line comes over, down. It's really interesting. Well, let's just keep it like that. We got that, that bone there that sticks out. And then this kind of a, the muscle kind of bulges here. And then it turns into that spine line. There's like two bumps here instead of, I just drew one. And then this weird, like there's this V type shape here, this triangle. It's not quite the way I drew it there. But it's more just hinted at than what I did. I did it a lot more prominent. Real light here. It's really interesting. It's almost like forming an X. That's really cool. Okay, there's a lot of information to retain here. Um, I would almost, if, if this is the first time doing it, I would almost suggest breaking it up into the top, top part here, and then maybe the bottom part there, going through it a diff couple different times. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do this again though, all the way through. See if I actually retained very much of this. Who knows? Okay, we got this line going up. This line going where that went. I know it didn't go straight across into the shoulder. This kind of came down. Something like that, right? bone there, however that's sticking out, just to kind of indicate it there. Then there was a, kind of like a, a muscle that just kind of bulged out around here. I don't remember, I don't remember that shoulder blade, how that 
lines were. I just remember it was kind of broken up. And then I remember there was two bulges. There's the, the kind of almost shapes there. How'd that work? It was almost like an X. Okay, well, there's some things I feel like I kind of retained. This definitely, definitely looks better than this. Those shoulder blades, this is opposite though. This should have come out and then in. And then that would have informed this one too. Interesting, okay. Let's do it one more time from the reference. Down and then back. I missed that little bulge right there. Totally didn't get it at all on my my guy. Cool back. I love all those shapes. This is something I'd love to study more. I need to. I really need to study this more and get this a little bit more memorized. Or a lot more memorized. That's alright, you know, but it's it's very generic. This is a lot more like, wow, that's amazing. You can draw. <laughs> alright guys, that is day 59. I feel like I picked up a lot of little subtleties here. It'd be great to do a... Um, sleep on it of this even though we don't have a sleep on it for this page um for me anyway all right see you guys tomorrow